and we put them into the oven with a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius for about like 20-25 minutes. So let's wait. Today, this country is associated with ongoing geopolitical tensions, territorial disputes and efforts to assert its sovereignty and independence. The whole world knows Ukraine will win, but what keeps being unknown is Ukrainian cuisine. I've picked three Ukrainian traditional dishes for our today food journey. Deruni. Sirniki. And the iconic chicken Kiev. You've probably watched my episode from another Ukrainian restaurant here in Spain where we cooked the most popular Ukrainian soup, which is borscht. This is it. This is the Ukrainian borscht. And these three dishes will blow your mind. By the way, I've created a membership function on my channel. So those of you who want to support my channel, please feel free to become the member of the Beetle channel. Let's eat. Travel for food, fill up your belly with bits that are good. Slurp up the soup, use a spoon or a fork on your hands. Food so good, it make you do a dance. Open your mouth wider, let's eat now. Guys, so we're gonna start with cheesecakes. It's probably not the cheesecakes that you used to have in your countries. This is the super authentic ones. Ukrainian Sirniki is worthy a title of the most delicious European breakfast at all times. In order to believe me, you just have to try. So here we have the cottage cheese. It's a very popular kind of cheese in Ukraine for breakfast, for different kinds of dishes. So we need 10 egg yolks here. In the result we have uh, this kind of uh, substance. Each cake should be at least 65 grams. These cheese pancakes likely originated in rural communities where simple, hearty dishes were crafted using locally available ingredients. For this kind of cheesecake you will need a vanilla sugar, egg yolks, Ukrainian special kind of flour and cottage cheese. And here's the recipe. Two cups of cottage cheese, one cup semolina, two eggs, one or two teaspoon vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, vegetable oil for frying, and a sour cream and jam for serving. The tradition of making sirniki has been passed down through generations, evolving and adapting the regional variations. While there isn't a specific date of creation, it's safe to say that sirniki have enjoyed by Ukraine Ukrainian families for many decades, if not centuries. The dish embodies the resourcefulness of traditional cooking using basic ingredients like cottage cheese, eggs and flour to create a flavorful and satisfying treat. Look at this beautiful golden color. Okay, okay so we put them in the, the oven uh, with a 150-160 degrees Celsius uh, for about 10 or 12 minutes. presentation we can make with a chocolate topping or some jam and sugar on top that's the way guys that's the way and a sour cream and that is a traditional Ukrainian breakfast are you ready guys I am because this is the true authentic Ukrainian cheesecakes we call them Sirniki Wow look at this that's the moment I've been waiting for so long. Mm, you know what I'm thinking? If you have never tried Ukrainian sirniki, you just have to repeat the recipe at home. If you're somewhere near Valencia, you just come to this restaurant and try the authentic recipe made with a gentle and professional Ukrainian hands. Perfect for breakfast. Mm. Mm. and Sirniki goes pretty well with coffee. 
Let's get going to our next Ukrainian authentic dish. Veroni, which are the potato pancakes. We have to get ready with uh, our ingredients, potato, the onion, garlic, and the uh, egg. And of course, we need some flour. So all we need is to peel the potato, garlic, mushrooms. Here is the recipe for Ukrainian deroni. Four large potatoes, one onion, two eggs, three tablespoons of flour, salt and pepper to taste, vegetable oil, sour cream, and two types of mushrooms for the sauce. So for our sauce we need some onion and mushrooms, but we also need white mushrooms, which originally from uh, Carpathian Mountains. Amazing. And we are starting frying our potato pancakes uh, in traditional Ukrainian recipe. We need a huge amount of sunflower oil. Deroni, or Ukrainian potato pancakes, also have roots deep in Ukrainian culinary history. These pancakes are believed to have originated many generations ago, likely in response to the abundance of potatoes in the Eastern Europe during the 18th century. I expect them to be very crispy and amazing aroma. So garlicky because of the huge amount of sunflower oil after frying them deep in oil we have to put them out on their paper towel these pancakes are believed to have originated many generations ago deruni emerged as a flavorful and practical dish especially during times when other ingredients were scarce we have a perfect authentic wooden plate the ukrainian style one we have a sour cream here of course and we also will have a mushroom sauce deruni have become a beloved dish often served at family gatherings celebrations and as a comforting meal on cold winter days by the way if you watched my polish episode which uh, hit almost uh, 170,000 views. It's called here Jatski. I like it, but since in Ukraine we have the same, uh, almost the same dish, we call it Dyrony, I can do them like much better than it is here. These two dishes are very similar, but of course, as a Ukrainian, I love Ukrainian pancakes, Dyrony. The aroma of this mushroom sauce is just crazy. The exact recipe may vary among families, adding to the richness of this enduring culinary tradition. Mm, the mushroom sauce is a big deal in Ukraine, because in Ukraine we have lots of forests and lots of different kinds of mushrooms. Therefore, we have many, many dishes with uh, mushrooms as a ingredients or sauces, the mushroom sauces. Mm. Mm. Really don't know why Ukrainian food is not uh, that popular, really. Mm. This is crazy. That is a king bite. Mm. And that is the professional bite. That's it. The atmosphere in this restaurant is like at home, you know? I think it's time to try our thought Ukrainian dish, which is Chicken Kiev, an iconic masterpiece with tender chicken, a buttery core, and a crispy exterior, showcasing Ukraine's culinary elegance. Chicken Kiev consists of a boneless chicken breast, pounded flat, then rolled around cold butter and herbs, typically dill. These dishes invite you to rediscover the country's rich flavors beyond the hardships in faces today. Chicken Kiev is a classic Ukrainian recipe that has gained popularity world worldwide.
boneless, skinless chicken breast, salt, pepper to taste, 1 cup of breadcrumbs, 1 or 2 cups unsalted butter, 1 or 2 cup of fresh dill chopped, 2 eggs, 1 cup of flour, and sunflower oil. The chicken is then breaded and fried, creating a crispy exterior while keeping the interior moist and flavorful. Chicken Kiev is the iconic Ukrainian dish. It gained international recognition and popularity during the mid of 20th century. And we're ready to put them into hot oil. Two minutes. And we put them into the oven with a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius for about like 20, 25 minutes. So let's wait. So we have a potato puree and some carrot as a side dish. The shell of this chop is so crispy and the inside chicken fillet is just so tender. But I haven't tried it yet. Let's do it. Mm. That's it. That's the way it should be. And this hot butter with some greens. Like that. It's so aromatic. So flavorful. Amazing. Mm. goes perfectly with puree. Wow. So guys, Casa Ukrainiana in Valencia. Thank mm -hmm. you.